What is up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Sparkman. Yeah, so today we're working with uh, Game Guru. Today I want to show you how to create a boss fight, including a health bar for the boss. For this example, I'm going to use the uh, kill quest uh, script. Yeah, so you don't have to use the kill quest script. Uh, you'll be able to do it without the kill quest script. Let me show you what this example looks like. You can already see the uh, health bar on top there. That's the boss's health bar. Sort of like Castlevania, it shows you the uh, health bar before it shows you the boss. Maybe in another video I'm going to make one for the player too. So you can see the uh, player's health bar as well. So yeah, so I'm gonna take care of these ogres, so the boss is going to come out. We have one more ogre left. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let's get closer, the boss is going to come out. There's the boss. And you can see that uh, his health bar goes down when I shoot. It's um, obviously tougher than all the other guys. Wow, this guy is pretty tough. It will be very hard to beat him with um, a sword or something. Okay guys, if you like making your own 3D games, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. If you're subscribed, be sure to click on the uh, bell next to the subscribe button. It will let you know when new videos come out. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna aim for uh, 50 likes for this video. Okay guys, hit the like button and let's continue. Now the first thing I want to show you is where the images for the uh, health parts are located. Yeah, so we need to go to um, see, let's go to find the Steam folder and uh, we need to go to Steam apps. Okay, we're gonna go to common, game guru, we're gonna go to files and uh, you can see that I have a folder here called stuff. Yeah, so here's where I put the graphics for the health part. Um, so it's basically the same folder where you put the cursor for the um, kill quest. Here in the middle of the scene I added a um, trigger zone. Yeah, when you step on this uh, trigger zone, this is when we spawn the boss. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So this is where the triggers. Okay, so um, I call the boss Mino. Okay, so here is the boss. Let's go to uh, properties. And you can see that he doesn't spawn at start. Okay, so uh, I also says his uh, health to 1000. All right, that's uh, very important. Let me show you the script. Okay, you don't have to use the script. You can use any of the other scripts. But for this example, I'm using the uh, the tourist example. So, okay, so this script have an uh, initialization state and a main state. Okay, so the main part keeps running all the time, and the initialization state runs only once. So I got some code here. We're going to paste. Okay, we are not going to type it. To save time uh, yeah so I will leave this code under the description below so you can um, just copy and paste it okay so let me just um, copy this I'm going to paste it over here yeah you can see that I copy the same code for the cursor uh, for the uh, kill quest yeah, so make sure yeah so make sure you have these two files uh, for the health bar under this folder if you don't have that folder just make a folder and call it that stuff now these variables here are to position the uh, the health part. If you don't like the position of the health part, you can simply change these variables. Let's go to the main part. Let me just uh, make a space here. We are going to paste um, this here. This is copy. And simply paste it here. Again, you don't have to worry about this. You can leave it like it is, unless you want to modify something. Now one more thing we have to change in this script. And uh, let's just scroll down to all the way to line line 174 we have to disable this here this is for headshots yeah so we have to disable this so you don't kill the boss in one shot okay which would kind of suck we just close this save it don't forget to save it okay so we're ready to run this let's uh, hit the run button i'm going to try to do this quick get rid of all these guys they're annoying they're in the way i keep saying i'm going to make a full game like this uh, I'm going to call it uh, Sparkman Travels in Time or something. That'll they, be a lot of fun, you know, if you make a game about uh, time travel and you bring all these cool weapons to um, to the past. Yeah, I think people like that. I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Okay, so here is the boss and you can see that uh, his health goes down. Okay, I think this gun takes uh, way too much damage. Let me try the... Let's do this the traditional RPG way, with a sword. See if we can defeat this guy. It's uh, his his health is like a thousand. Let's see if we can fight you with a sword. 
I think the sword's too short. I think this sword needs to be bigger. Now, my health regenerates uh, very quickly. Okay, but I think uh, if my health was normal... You can see that my health regenerates uh, very quickly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, to make this interesting, you should probably set the health to not regenerate so quick. Okay, why well, screw this? I'm going to use the gun. <laughs> it's too hard to beat. So the Uzi. And good night, sleepy. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so guys, that's how you can create a boss fight and a health bar for your games. Who thinks we should have a game guru contest? I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Okay, guys, see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye now.